The exploits of the Carthage Eagles after they reached the quarterfinals in only their second appearance in the tournament has won the team admirers at home. The Tunisia squad has shown a good performance during this tournament. Unfortunately, the girls lost the game with South Africa in the quarterfinals, but the overall participation proves that the women's team will have a bright future in African football. Sports journalists in the country maintain that the Gothic Eagles have surprised their fans and exceeded expectations in Morocco. This campaign is a step forward for Tunisian women's football here at home and in Africa. We cannot ask for better results from this second participation. The players are young and inexperienced. Reaching the final and winning the continental title requires more work and time. Our girls are on the right track. The Carthage dream of making the 2023 World Cup finals in Australia and New Zealand remains on course since they will play in the 2022 Wafcon Repechage. They play Senegal on Sunday with a victor set to face either Botswana or Cameroon in the Repechage final where the winner will punch Africa's fifth World Cup ticket. Qualifying for next year's FIFA Women's World Cup was an objective for the Tunisian side but the dream is not over yet. The next match against Senegal will be decisive. Winning this ranking match will allow Tunisia women's team to play in the World Cup. The ongoing Guafcon 2022 has unearthed new talent for Tunisia that will serve the country well in the future. The Eagles of Carthage are playing at this continental tournament for only the second time. The players and the technical staff view this participation as an opportunity for women's football in North Africa. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.